this is the math. This is what the universe looked like 380,000 years after the Were you the first one to see this when it came from the telescope? I think I was the first one to see this particular version of the map. What did it feel like? Oh, so cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, to know that you're one of the few people who get to see this first is just awesome. In this version of the WMAP picture, the peaks are hot spots that show where the superclusters of galaxies will form. The valleys will become empty space. Most important, this pattern is so detailed that cosmologists can now piece together almost the entire story of what happened during the birth of the universe to create the structures we see today. The Big Bang itself remains shrouded in mystery, although WMAP tells us that the universe's birthday came 13.7 billion years ago. Using WMAP data, we can reach back almost to that beginning, at a time when the universe was tiny, much smaller than this pearl. We're not sure what came next, but our best current idea is that an event called inflation triggered a hyperfast expansion enlarging the universe a trillion, trillion, trillion fold. But just as suddenly as it began, inflation stops, leaving behind a dense, hot, violent universe. All of space is filled with a zoo of exotic particles, the precursors of ordinary matter. And all the light within the cosmos is trapped in an endless pinball game bouncing off these particles. But as the universe continues to expand, it cools. Until, at last, 380,000 years after the Big Bang, temperatures fall to the point at which familiar, stable atoms can form. In that instant, the primordial fog clears and the light from the Big Bang flashes free. Forming the image that WMAP has captured, a true baby picture of the cosmos. The really remarkable thing that MAP found was the universe was incredibly simple. I think we're now close to the right story for how the universe evolved from a second or so after the Big Bang till today. But not so fast. There are no signs of life in this picture. The WMAP universe contains only the simplest atoms, mostly hydrogen, just a single proton with one electron, along with a little bit of helium. Living chemistry requires more complex building blocks, carbon, oxygen, iron, and the rest. But if they didn't exist in the early universe, where did they come from? Recent supercomputing simulations show the infant universe filled with vast, billowing clouds of hydrogen. Almost immediately, the clouds begin to condense, pulled together by their own gravity. As hydrogen piles on, the central region grows more and more dense, until something brand new lights up the universe. A star. These first stars are hydrogen giants, 100 times or more larger than our own sun. Such massive stars are short-lived, two or three million years at the most, and they go out with a bang. An explosion so big, they've been dubbed hypernovae. that the universe begins to accumulate the building blocks of life. All the atoms in the universe heavier than hydrogen and helium are forged by stars. Stars are really interesting. They, they